Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 23 of Lightroom Quick Tips. You know, I often get emails from folks that are taking shots like this. It's a night shot, cityscape, relatively long exposure. As you can see, it's 30 seconds. And what folks are finding is they get this weird color in their image. In this case here, we have these halogen street lamps and we have this golden glow coming up from the lamps. It doesn't really look natural and it didn't look that way when I was um, at this scene taking the shot. Um, another situation people encounter is if they're out in the country and they're trying to photograph the Milky Way galaxy and they're using a relatively long exposure to capture the beautiful stars up in the sky and what happens is where there should be really dark blue of space it becomes really green looking and uh, folks are wondering why that happened and what they could do to correct for it uh, or what they could do to prevent it and then in post maybe what they could do to correct it. Well, I'm going to offer some tips in this video of what you could do. First of all when you're out taking these types of shots consider putting the white balance of your camera to tungsten uh, most pros, when they're uh, photographing cityscapes at night with a long you know, uh, shutter speed, they'll put their white balance to tungsten. It really will make everything look blue or bluer, and it really helps uh, the shot look more natural. Almost everyone I know that will photograph uh, the Milky Way galaxy in their way, way out in the country, they'll put their white balance at tungsten too. It really makes everything blue, and it gets rid of that green. Uh, totally that will come up into the sky. This will also work if you're trying to photograph the Milky Way and you're a little bit too close to the city and you're getting some light pollution in the shot. Uh, set the tungsten, uh, set your white balance to tungsten and that should help a lot. Now we could do it in post. We could go to the basic panel here and you can see it says white balance right here. It says as shot and I could put that to tungsten now and it will help a little bit but it really didn't help enough. So there's before and there's after. Uh, we still have a considerable amount of this golden glow down here on the road. So we want to get rid of that. And to do that, we're simply going to brush in a different white balance. So we're going to go up to the brush. And if your sliders are moved around, we're going to reset them by double clicking on effect. That resets your sliders. And what I want to do down here is I need a feathered, a heavily feathered brush. Otherwise, it'll look like I'm painting just a, a, uh, with a magic marker or something. I want it to blend in as good as possible, so I'm going to use a really feathering at 100. I'm also going to have flow, not all the way, maybe around 70, between 60, 70, somewhere in there. And density, I'll keep at 100. And I want a relatively large brush, so uh, you could use the center wheel on your mouse to affect the size of the brush or you could use the bracket keys on your keyboard. The right bracket key makes it larger, the left bracket key makes it smaller and I'm going to go up here right to temperature and I'm going to take it all the way down for this image. So let's just try it all the way down. We could go back and readjust this later if we need to. And I'm going to get that relatively large brush and I'm going to paint down in here and I'm going to get a smaller brush and paint across here. And as you can see, it did a decent job of the road. It's not blended in real well over here, but we're going to take care of that in a minute. And there's before and there's after. So it helped considerably. Now, in this shot too, we still have the glow of the city lights coming up into the sky. So the sky doesn't look really natural either. Uh, it's it's just got this kind of city glow to it and I really want to change the color there too so I'm gonna change the white balance I'm gonna get a new brush so I'm gonna double click on new and I'm gonna double click on effect to just reset the sliders you really don't have to do that because the only slider I moved was the temperature slider and I'm gonna bring it down again you know towards blue not quite all the way this time and I'm gonna get a really big brush now now I'm gonna paint everything up here Okay, and then I'm going to paint down here too and it will help blend everything in a little better. Again now I left these settings alone, feathering at 100, flow at 71 in this case, and density at 100. And we'll paint across everything. And there is before and there's after. So that's really, it's relatively simple. You could just brush in a different white balance by changing the temperature slider with the brush 
and painting across your image. Now, I didn't, as you can see, I'm going to close the brush and we'll open the basic panel. I didn't really do any other settings outside of this tungsten white balance setting. We didn't really adjust this image at all. So now you could come through and you could adjust your image to, to taste. Open up the shadows maybe a little bit. You know, set your white point, your black point. I'm not going to do it now. Turn up clarity and stuff like that. And you could really affect the image, uh, make it, you know, really pop. Now, again, if you want to, if this is still too golden for you, you could go and get another new brush and brush in some more coldness or coolness onto that uh, area right in here. But I kind of like it there. It looks a little more natural. So that's it. That's uh, Lightroom Quick Tip Episode 23, how to uh, correct white balance problems you have when you're doing a long exposure night shot of either the city or the Milky Way galaxy. I hope that helps you guys out that enjoy this type of photography. I'd like to thank everyone. Thank you very much that uh, the folks that watch my videos. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right, that's it for episode 23. I'll talk to you guys soon.